Welcome back, guys. How are you? Hello, David. Hello, Marta. Hello, teacher. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. How are you today? I'm fine. And you? Ex excellent. How do you feel today? Um, I'm very well. <laughs> Okay, um, I would like for us to, um, I would like for you to tell me, what do you remember from yesterday's class? What information do you remember from the previous class? What can you tell me? Four and five things. Uh, for and since is correct. Uh, excellent. Can you give me an example? Okay, I, I live here since one on a king eighty six. Correct. What is another example of what you remember from the previous class? Somebody else can give me another example. Anybody can give me another example of what information you remember about the previous class. Another example. Nobody? Anybody? Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Can you tell me what information do you remember about the previous class? Do you remember the present perfect? Yes. Okay, so we're going to practice the present perfect in today's class. I'm going to share with everybody questions related to the present perfect. Repeat, please. Have you ever appreciated a sunset? Have you ever appreciated a sunset? Very good. Were you alone or with someone special? Were you alone? Or with, with some, um, one special. Someone. Have you ever been a guest at a surprise party? Have you ever been a guest at a surprise party? Has anyone ever thrown a surprise party for you? Has anyone ever thrown a surprise party for you? 
Have you ever been in a fist fight? Have you ever been in a fist fight? Have you ever been on TV? Have you ever been ever been on TV? Have you ever been to a theater? Have you ever been to a theater? Have you ever broken a bone? Have you ever broken a bone? Have you ever broken up with someone? Have you ever broken up with someone? Have you ever called your boyfriend or girlfriend by the wrong name? Have you, Have you ever, ever called your boyfriend or, or girlfriend by the wrong name? name? Have you ever called your girlfriend or boyfriend honey? Have you ever called your boyfriend or girlfriend honey? Honey. Perfect. Now, for this activity, I would like for you to practice this uh, in pairs. One student will ask the question and the other student is going to respond. Are what you ready? Is, what section is the uh, teacher? Uh, actually, this is coming from section number five. Uh, in section number five, we were practicing the present perfect. The present perfect. Right, do you remember the present perfect? Yes. Right here, present perfect versus simple past. So the questions are here. Have you ever appreciated a sunset? All the questions that we just practiced right now. This is more for fluency and conversation development. Are you ready? Ready. Perfect. Eh, Reina Costa and Griselda Menjivar, eh, you can work in pairs. Eh, Griselda Menjivar and Reina Acosta, you can work in pairs. Hello, teacher. Uh, hello, uh, Griselda.
Hello, guys. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. teacher. Hello, hello. Okay, yo sé que no han terminado, pero tuve que separar los grupos porque acaban de entrar varios alumnos y no los puedo incorporar porque ya estamos en los breakout rooms. Así que vamos a generar nuevos breakout rooms. Teacher, una duda. Uh -huh. eh, las preguntas que vamos a leer son las que usted escribió en el chat, ¿verdad? Correct. Las que les mandé. Pero esas preguntas no se pueden leer porque estamos en los, en los rooms. Ok. Eh, se los voy a mandar ahorita. Ok. ¿Ya? ¿Les cayó? ¿Los tiene? Sí, ya, ya. Ok. Vamos a recrear los grupos. Eh, David va a trabajar con Edwin, Dalia con Marta, Héctor con María José y Mónica con Roxana Amaya. Ya sabía. Ves que no se no sale el chat, pero se le toma captura porque. Permitirme. Ah, bueno, ahí está. Vaya. Se ve. Sí. Ah, ok. Vaya, entonces, eh, ¿haces tú las preguntas y yo las respondo o tú respondes? Mm, si quieres ahorita yo, yo las hago. Vos las haces, va, chivo. And have you ever appreciated a sunset? Tengo una pregunta. <ríe> en, en, bueno, yo entiendo que que has apreciado sunset es como puesta de sol, ¿no? Sí, alguna vez has apreciado una puesta de sol. Ah, ok, ok. Yes, I... Yes, I have. Mm. Ok, were you alone or with someone special? I I'm with I have I someone. was I was mm -hmm. yo estaba Ah, tú estuviste? Ajá, uh -huh, cierto. Eh, I was with someone special. Have you ever been a guest at a surprise party? What is the meaning of guest? Es como invitado. 
Ah, cierto. Yes, I have. Um, has anyone ever throw a surprise party for you? Um, what is the meaning of throw? Throw. Um, organizar. Organizado. Mm. Organizar. Mm. Yes, alguna vez se ha organizado una fiesta sorpresa? Ah, mm, no. <laughs> no, I have. Okay. Mm, have you ever been in a fist fight? Mm, no sé si ahí fist es, no sé qué es fist. O es, o quería decir first. Fist. Es como puñetazos. Que si alguna vez he estado en una pelea hacia puñetazos a puño. Ah, uh, no, I have. <laughs> okay. Um, have you ever been on TV? Um, yes. Yes, I have. Okay. Um, have you ever been to the uh, theater? Uh -huh. Have you ever been to a what is the pronunciation of teatro? No sé, teatro. It's como si, con Z, como teatro. Teatro. Pero ahí me está preguntando si he estado o si he visto. Si he estado. Si has estado alguna vez. No, no, en teatro no. No, I have. Okay. No, I haven't, Saria. Oh, cierto, gracias. No, I haven't. Have you ever broke a bone? Have, have, uh -huh. have you ever mm. broken a bone? Mm -hmm. yeah, no, no, I haven't. Um, have you ever bro broken up with someone? No, I haven't. Si sí, le he roto a alguien, creo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero, ¿habla de, siempre habla de huesos o, o de relación o cómo? Este es como, yo siento como de relación porque alguna vez has roto con alguien. Ah, ah pues, yes, I have. Uh -huh. mm, have you ever called your boyfriend or girlfriend by the wrong name? No, I haven't. <laughs> Have you ever called your girlfriend, boyfriend, honey? No, I haven't. Honestly, no. <laughs> okay. Okay, we <boy>, gentlemen. <laughs> Have you ever appreciated a sunset? Yes, I have appreciated a sunset. Okay. Were you alone or with someone special? I was someone special. Okay. Have you ever been a guest at a surprise party? No, I haven't been a guest at surprise party. Okay. Has anyone ever threw a surprise party for you? No, I <laughs> okay. Have you ever been in a fist fight? Um, yes, I have uh, been a fist fight. Mm. I I remember my. How do you say prima? Prima. Prima. Huh? I. Se no me acuerdo de coaching de primo. ¿Cuándo se termina? Casi no les entiendo. Ah, hoy. Ok. Ok. ¿Have you ever been on TV? Yes. Eh... 
in which in which channel? Um, Telemundo. <laughs> no, in <en> serio. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, have you ever been to a theater? Theater. No, I haven't been to a theater. Okay. Have you ever broken a bone? No, never broken a bone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have you ever broken up with someone? Uh, I remember, yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you ever called your boyfriend or girlfriend by the wrong name? No, I I haven't. Okay, imperdonable. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever called your girlfriend or boyfriend honey? No, I haven't. Yes, no, I haven't called my my boyfriend honey. Only oh. love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sí, que Juani es muy, muy empalagoso. Uh -huh. <ríe> ok, entonces terminamos, creo. Sí. Solo que no sé si nos va a llamar o... Yo creo no? que sí. Ah, ok. En esta de, ya me entró una duda. Have you ever been on TV? Es. <risa> es si has estado en la tele. Ah, yo pensé, lo entendí como que sí he estado viendo tele. <risa> <risa> ¿Cómo he estado viendo tele, mundo? <risa> Ay, así. Ay, de ahí me quedé con esa duda. No, no, no. I, ne I never been on TV. <risa> <ríe> Por eso es que me quedé con la duda. No, y, te sorprendí, y, te, y te quedó la duda porque me sorprendí demasiado. Ajá. Sí. Me diste que raro. Top en tele. Ajá, sí la había entendido, pero no. Sí, sí, yo, yo te dije que sí. No te fijaste, va. No, es que en eso sí, sí me. Ah, o dijiste, ah, ah, sí, vetele. Ah, vetele. Ajá. Sí. Ay, no, pero duele el estómago de los nervios. De es, algo que, es algo que ya no haría. <risa> sí, es que, que me, me llamaron, me hicieron una entrevista en, ¿cómo que se llamaba este programa? Ah, no me acuerdo cómo se llama, pero es un programa así como, como Viva la Mañana, algo parecido. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces era una entrevista como de un tema psicológico. Uh -huh. Y así, pero puchica, estresada, a morir. Me sentía, o sea, pánico escénico a morir. <ríe> y lo hice dos veces, pero ya después me pidieron una tercera y yo, Nel, no, ay, no me ay, <ríe> No te gustan las cámaras. Fíjate que es que me pongo muy nerviosa. Súper nerviosa. Entonces, aunque maneje el tema, pero yo siento que medio, medio El Salvador, todos los psicólogos del de Salvador me están juzgando. Entonces, Nel. Ay, ay, entendí cómo. Sí, en Yuca. Así que no, solo dos veces lo hice, pero. O sea, fue bonito, pero daba miedo. <risa> Sí, yo creo que hay gente que trae para eso. ¿no? Sí, correcto. No, yo te creí, fíjate, te creí. Yo dije, quizá, no sé, viajó no. a México. Ay. No sé dónde están. Ana, antes he ido a Guatemala. Ah, sí, claro. Sí. Y a saber cómo, si vamos a seguir, ¿verdad?, eh? En, es que no he entendido esa parte si, 
si sí, vamos a esperar mucho para que no tenga otra beca. O oh, usted está con del trabajo. No, así, así lo vi en Facebook. Ajá, igual. Entonces se supone Yo, que... ¿Qué pasó? ¿Mm? No, que ya escuché que dentro de dos a tres meses nos iban a avisar. Pues sí, ajá, yo eso escuché también y yo dije, ¿qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué tanto? Ajá, ¿por qué tanto? Uh -huh. Tenemos que ir así cabal, nivel por nivel, vean. Ajá, cabal, sí. Ajá, igual se me había hecho raro de que no nos hayan mandado ya para llenar el formulario y todo eso. Eso sí, también. Así que a saber. Si quiere, regresemos al, a la sala. Tal vez ya está en clase. ¿vale? Bueno, no nos han llamado. No, no nos ha caído la notificación. Ajá, cierto. ¿Y usted ya ha visto los, los videos de YouTube de las clases? Sí, solo vi la vez que falté, vi el video. ¿Y cuando ingresan a los cortos, cómo se ve? Solo sale donde tú estás. Pero cuando, pero por eso, y cuando están en YouTube, ¿qué, qué sala te sale? ¿Dónde yo estoy? ¿O dónde está el teacher, parece? No, ¿dónde está el teacher? Ajá, ajá. Va ahí donde está el teacher, está como en silencio. O se escuchan todas las voces de los cuartos. Se escucha. Solo la, la voz donde estamos ahorita, digamos que ahorita creo que estamos con él. <risa> ok, bueno, nos vemos. Adiós. All right, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers, please. All right, Roxana, let me have one more volunteer one volunteer teacher only only read the, the, the question uh, no one student is going to read the question and the other student is going to respond to the question one student is going to read the question the other student is going to respond to the question. Okay. Let me have the participant. One participant. Somebody? Me teacher. Okay. Excellent. Go ahead. Action. Go ahead, Marta. You can ask the question. Okay. Roxana, respond to the question. Okay. Have you ever appreciated a sunset? Yes, I have. Okay, were you alone or with someone special? We, we are, um, we are someone special. Okay, have you ever been a guest a uh, surprise party? Yes, I have. 
Has anyone ever thrown a surprise party for you? No, no, I haven't. Okay. Have you ever been in a fist fight? Uh, what is fist, fist fight? Is it? Okay. Is Have it, you ever? But what is this fight? Sorry. Is it? Fist? Yes, fight. What, what is? Primer pelea. No. <laughs> no. Wait. Have yeah, you ever no, no. been fist, fist fight es como pelearse con puños. No. Okay. No. No, no I have. Ah, okay. Have you ever been on TV? Yes, I have. Okay. Have you ever been to a theater? Theater. 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 I, I spell this. I spell it. Mm -hmm. um, um, yes, I have been to a theater. theater. Mm -hmm. um, spelling. T A E A T E R R. Okay. Have you ever broken a bone? Uh, no. No, I no. No. Okay. Have you ever broken up with someone? Yes. Yes, my, my brother. Okay. Have you ever called your boyfriend or girlfriend by the ground name? No. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> have, you, have you ever called your girlfriend or boyfriend honey? No. No. Okay. All right. Finish. Awesome. Very good. Um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions related to this information? Any questions related to this information? No, teacher. No? Okay. Now, for this, for the following activity, what we are going to do is analyze the next section. For the next section, we're going to be looking at the final exam. And I would like for us to go over the first part. In this part right here, I would like for us to look at section C. Instructions, read the following sentences and choose the correct word. Number one, my brother is, what is the correct answer? In. My In. brother is in, in. his 20s. In and mm. goes to college in Arizona. So you're going to complete this activity in pairs, and then we're going to check together. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. All yes, right, teacher. let's yes. do it. We will change partners.
comparto. Hola, comparto. Okay. Va, va, no, no, no puedo compartir ahorita. Estoy ahorita en velorio con mi compu que me arruinó ya. Ay, Dios mío. <risa> vale, ok. Dime que... Ok. Entonces, I read number one. Ok. My brother is in his 20s and goes to college in Arizona. Ok. Number two. Tracy has short, strain, black, hiding the blues edge. And blue eyes. Number three. Okay. Yes. Phil's nephew is five feet eight and has dark brown beard and mustache. Okay. Okay. Number four. Has Martin ever missed an appointment? Number five. How many times have you lost your cell phone? Okay. Have you ever driven a truck? Okay. Guess okay. what? My brother is in his twenty high going to college in Arizona. Okay. Tracy Short Straight Black. Ah, no, iba, iba Roberto, creo, ah, para cambiar. Ah, ok, para cambiar, ok. Uh -huh. Dos. Yes. Tracy has short, straight, straight, black eyes and blue eyes. Phil's nephew is five feet eight and has dark brown beard and mustache. Mustache. For has Marty ever missing hand upon me? Okay. How many times have you lost your cell phone? Okay. Have you ever driven a truck? Okay. Voy a empezar ya. Ahí empieza Roberto. Correcto. My brother is in, my brother is in his 20s and goes to college in Arizona. Ok. Tracy has short, straight, black hair and blue eyes. Ok. Phil Neal is 5 feet 8 in a dark brown bear and mustache. Has Martin ever missed an appointment? Okay. How many times have you lost your cell phone? Okay. Have you ever been a trip? Driving. Right. Uh -huh. Bye. Terminamos. Finish. Hoy sí ya terminamos. Hoy sí ya casi. <laughs> okay.
Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finish. Finish, teacher. Finish. Finish. Now, let's look at number two. Roberto, number two. Tracy has short, straight, black hair and blue eyes. Perfect. Number three. Number three. Phil's nephew is five feet eight and has dark brown beard and mustache. Perfect. Number four. Has Martin ever missed an appointment? Nice. Number five. How many times have you lost your cell phone? Perfect. And the last one, number six. Have you ever driven a truck? Awesome. Applause for the participant, guys. Applause for the man. Excellent work. Excellent work. Good job. Any questions referring to these phrases or questions? Nobody? The new, the field new fit, new fit is um, a pedido, a um, last name. I'm sorry, can you repeat that, please? The number three. Mm -hmm. The number field's three? new fit is ne a ne nephew. Is a last name of Nephew. Yes. Is a last name or is the nephew kind of... uh, no nephew means sobrino. Ah okay. Nephew, sobrino. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Another question? Another question? What is the meaning of bird? B E A R D. A beard, barba, beard. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. A appointment, teacher. Appointment. A appointment is como una cita formal, una cita programada. Digamos, a doctor's appointment, for example. Una okay. cita con el doctor. That could be a doctor's appointment. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. All right. Let's go ahead and move forward. And we're going to be looking at the following activity. For the next activity, we are going to be looking at rewriting the unscrambled sentences. Put the words in the correct order to make sentences or questions. Coloque las palabras en el orden correcto para hacer oraciones o preguntas. For example, Christy is really gorgeous. And in her 30s. You will write the sentences in the space provided. Ready, let's go. Okay. You have the 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 shirt that na pantalla. Eh, yes. Um, look at the computer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sí, la puedo ver desde mi máquina. Eh, la puedes compartir. Okay. Eh, es que estoy conectada en el teléfono. Ah, pero, ah pues entonces la puedo, creo que la puedo compartir. Pero, ah, ok, está bien. Pero, muchas gracias. Ahí. Ahí. 
pantalla, pantalla, pantalla. Ok. Ok. ¿Lo puedes ver? Sí. Okay. A la siguiente. Uh -huh. Ok, ya está. Solo que creo que hay alguien más. Ah, sí. Está David. Uh, hello, David. Hello. How are you? I am very good, thank you. And you, how, how are you? Very good and kind of so tired because today <laughs> I come back with the work. <laughs> <laughs> but the live is is that. <laughs> ¿Tú puedes compartir la pantalla? No. I can't. Okay, entonces seguimos con la mía. Yeah. Uh, okay, number one. Uh, Christy is in her thirties and really gorgeous. Number two. Uh, Maria Jose. Okay. Does sound weird, laces, and have a mustache? A mustache. Okay, num number three. Cindy okay. has, has long worth mm -hmm. and he's medium height. Medium. Okay, number four. Who's the person sitting next to Jason on the couch? Estaba viendo algo. Sí. Que la número tres. Uh -huh. Yo la tengo diferente, la redacción, uh -huh. pero igual me sale correcta. Sí, eh, sí. La tengo, Cindy uh -huh. is medium height and has long right here. Ajá, uh -huh. y yo lo tengo aquí, Cindy has long red hair and is medium height. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hasta al revés, digamos. Quizás Ajá. no importa porque igual las dos son como descripciones de Cindy, ¿verdad? Es lo, exacto, es lo mismo. Ajá. Entonces sería igual este, es el número dos, el número dos. ¡Ah! El número dos. Que, que ya lo moví. Eh, sí, también la tenemos diferente. Ajá, sí, sí. Ajá, porque, por ejemplo, dime tus respuestas, eh, David. What? De todos, for all. Y the first, and este, the first, the four answers. The four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who's, who's the person sitting next, next to Jason on the couch? No, no, no. Uh, huh? Read, read the old uh, questions and the answers. Okay. Oh, perdón. Oh. Read the old, all, all. <laughs> Everything okay. Mm -hmm. Christy is really dangerous, and he and in in her study. Number two, number two, does some mm -hmm. wear glasses and have a mustache. Number three, uh -huh. Christy uh -huh. has long red hair and is medium height. Uh, number four, who's the person sitting next to Jason on the couch? Uh, y mm -hmm. son diferentes también las de David. Yes. Y la suya, María José. Okay, number one, Christy is really curious and in her theories. And number two, does some weird glasses and have a mustache. Number three, Cindy is medium high and has long red hair. And number four, who's the person sitting on the couch next to Jason? Solo la cuatro se parece de todos. Uh -huh. Porque yo, ajá, yo les tengo el number one. Christy is in her thirsty and really gorgeous. Number two. Does some have a mustache and wear glasses? Number mm -hmm. three, Cindy has long red hair and is medium height. 
¿Cómo se pronuncia? Hate. 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 Creo que hate. hate. Ok. Who's, who's the person sitting next to Jason on the couch? ¿Ah? ¿Se parecen? Sí, se parece. Solo el orden, como que. Ah, el orden cambia. Exacto. Ajá, el orden, pero quizás es lo mismo que decíamos de la descripción. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Voy a regresar al curso. Es okay. como que cambia un poquito. Uh -huh, sí. Un poquito. Vamos a quizás ver. media vez no se pierda como el contexto, o sea, se sepa cómo organizar o agrupar cada descripción. Porque son como dos descripciones en una de la persona. O dos características. Yo creo que... Ajá, al final es como que el... el como matemática. El orden de ajá. las... De los factores. No, de los el factores producto. Ajá, no altera el producto. Ok. Este... Let read again. Ok. Ok. Ok, number one. Number one. Chris mm -hmm. is really gorgeous and and in in her thirties. Thirty. Number two. Um, does Sam does Sam have have a mustache and wear glasses? Number three. Cindy is medium height and has long red. Hi. Okay, no, number four. Who's the person sitting next to Jason on the couch? Okay. Again. ¿Quién empezó primero? Who is the first? Uh, you. Yeah, okay. Start, start. Christy is in her I'm really gorgeous. And number two, does some wear glasses and have a mustache. Number three, Cindy has long, long red hair and he and is number four. Who's the person sitting next to Jason on the couch? Okay. Again, again, again. In your order, ¿sabes? Yes. Okay. You're the first. Yeah. <laughs> Christy is really gorgeous and in her series. ¿Cómo se gorgeous. 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 Como que dijeras gordo, 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 pero es gordo. Gorgeous. <laughs> Gorgeous. Say, does some wear glasses and have a mustache? Number three, Cindy has long red hair and is medium. Haste. And tengo la duda. Hey. 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 Casi se escucha como hate de odio. Ajá. Como que estás tirando hate. Hate. Ajá. O wait. No, hate. Hey. Yo voy a buscar. Wait. Hate. The pronunciation. Hey. Hey. Yo he escuchado. En mi trabajo que siempre dicen hey. Hey. Number four. No que lo busca más. All right, guys. Time is up. Time is up. Please finish the final exam. And if you have any questions, I'm going to help you tomorrow. All right. Good night, guys. See you later. Hi.
Eh, yo creo que las secciones eh, de videollamadas sería hasta ahora. Pero déjenme confirmar y le escribo en el grupo mañana. Ok. Este, todavía no nos han enviado la ficha técnica, Fisher. Este, yo no he escuchado, dicen que envió un audio. Todavía no se va no, no a, a inscribir. Eh, sí, vamos a tener un receso de tres meses porque estamos renovando contratos con Insofarb. Um, Oh, okay. Por eso no se salgan de los grupos de WhatsApp, porque a través del WhatsApp les vamos a estar dando seguimiento. Piche, una pregunta. Sí. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué nos aconseja como que estar estudiando o viendo como para que no se nos vaya a olvidar mucho? Ah, Pueden seguir repasando en la plataforma y también los videos. Ok. Uh -huh. All right, guys, okay. I gotta go. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.